Hi there, Traveling Troy here. Wait, is this thing on? Oh yeah, uh, red light's on, so we, we must be working here. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I made a video, so I might be a little bit rusty. You might get some uhs and ums. Sorry, uh, I'll do my best. But uh, today I'm here with my van. Uh, I bought this van back in, it's a camper van, Astro van, 1998 Astro van. Uh, I bought it in February of 2015, and it is currently April, late April of 2023. So I've owned the van over eight years now, and I moved into it in June of 20, 2015. So I'm coming up next month or next month and a half, uh, I will have been living in the van and traveling in the van for the past eight years. About a month and a half away from that. Woo! So today is spring cleaning day. Uh, today I washed the exterior of the van and I'm about to go inside and clean the interior of the van. I'm gonna pull everything out, completely clean it on the inside and I'm gonna look and see what I have and what's not needed, what I can get rid of to save some room and I'm probably gonna like, stuff my winter stuff way under the bed and pull out anything that's related to uh, warmer weather because it's starting to get a little hot. Uh, we're in the mid 80s here. Uh, I'm in Houston, Texas right now, which is my hometown, and it's starting to get warm. So let me give you a quick look around of, on the exterior of what the van's looking like after eight years of mainly being in Texas, Arizona, California, and a little bit of, uh, I mean, uh, Colorado and a little bit of California. Uh, Of course, got the uh, three 100 watt solar panels on top. Got the fan running inside right now to kind of cool it off. So, yeah, it's been a pretty good van over the past eight years. I've got my bug screens up, uh, just windows down, letting air circulate through there. And let me show you a quick look, just a peek here. This is, uh, of course, I've got my cleaning products ready to go. This is kind of what it's looking like right now before I come in here and and uh, do the deep clean. So I got my sleeping bag. That's uh, zero degrees I believe uh, I did great this winter I got a messy shelf here I got to go organize uh, got to find out what I'm gonna do with my sleeping bag I got to roll it up and put it somewhere because it's not necessarily needed I'll be you know cleaning the floors I'll be going through these tubs down here just pulling everything out that's not needed getting ready for the getting ready for the summer lighten it up a bit all right, let me walk you through the way I walk in. I always use this door, nice squeaks there. I always use this door to get in. I don't use the sliding door there because I always I keep stuff there. So this is my view coming in, pillow, sleeping bag. And I uh, got the sink back there, refrigerator, uh, clothing shelf, food pantry down below, electronics, uh, seven gallon water jug there. Got my fan on, of course. There's my headphones uh, for uh, entertainment. So that's the way it's looking now. Let's get this thing cleaned up and see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so whenever I do my spring cleaning, I usually start with the floor. Get everything up off the floor and everything out from under the bed. First, of course, you can see all the dirt and dust. It's not too bad, actually, because I, I swept out not too long ago, but it's not too bad. Um, but all that stuff that was under the bed is now out here. So that's basically what's all under the bed, except for the uh, potty uh, holder and slash desk. Water jug didn't go under the bed, but most of that stuff goes under the bed. So that's where I usually start. Clean under the bed. We're going to sweep and uh, like I say mop the floor, but it'll be like a hand hand wipe of the floor of some liquid. Uh, and after that, then I'll uh, you know move up to these shelves and start cleaning them out in the back. And then of course clean the front and there's back in front of the seat there's a lot of junk but anyways uh, I'll start with the floor all right well I have swept out and basically hand mopped the floor so we're nice and clean in here now smelling lemon fresh 
So the next step will be to let this dry all the way and I'll start putting all my stuff back in under the bed. But while this is drying, let's talk about where I've been for the past year and what I've been up to. Oh, uh, how rude of me. Uh, I'll talk about this in a minute, but uh, so right now I'm supposed, to be, I'm supposed to be putting in some clips of what I've been doing for the past year or so, uh, what I've done, and uh, as I'm looking through those video clips, I realize that I have enough video footage to put together probably two or three videos, like um, one of my six months uh, traveling the Texas beaches, uh, there's one of my travel back to, Cal uh, to Colorado for the summer. And then um, there's a brand new campsite that I like in Colorado that I've got a lot of footage of that area. So that's like three videos there. And then my trip back to uh, Houston for, uh, for the winter, for the 2022-2023 winter. So uh, I've got a lot of footage out there. I figure I'm just going to make videos about those instead of inserting them here. But instead, if you've made it this far on my spring cleaning video, um, let me give you a sneak peek of the future of Traveling Troy. What? So what do you think? Okay, wait, before we talk about the truck, let me talk about this guy. This is not sponsored. This is just something I've been using. Uh, actually, my dad bought it for me. Technically, he, he sent me a, an Amazon uh, electronic gift card and I bought this with it, but it is a Remington uh, beard, beard trimmer. Uh, it's um, battery operated. It's charge, charge rechargeable. And uh, the neat thing about it is it claims to catch 95% of your stubble whenever you shave with it. And I don't know how well that's gonna come in, but it's got this little, it's okay, so it, it's got a shaver on top. I'm just excited about this because I've been using it for the past five or six months and man, it's changed. I'm able to shave my van out because I'm not getting hairs everywhere because this thing has a vacuum cleaner basically that sucks the air in and it's got this little chamber here. I'll uh, remove this just to show you. So it's got this little removable chamber and all the hair collects inside this little deal and you just grab it and you dump it. It's now empty. You just dump it in your trash can. Now it claims uh, to catch 95% of the hair. So I typically would have to go to like a, a bathroom or like go outside the van to shave because it just gets everywhere. But with this thing, 
five percent i mean there might be one or two little uh little whiskers on me but man this thing is awesome uh, i'll link to it in the uh, description uh, of course i am an amazon uh affiliate member uh so i'll get whatever a buck or something if you were to use my link and buy one i'll probably get like a buck but hey that's better than giving all the money to amazon right okay so now about the truck uh it is a 2010 Ford F-150. It is the uh, the LX model, LT, LT, LT. Yeah, I think it's LT, LT model, which is just a base. It's the base model. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Cloth seats and stuff like that. Uh, not a super sound system. It's just base model. It probably it used to be a uh, like a fleet truck. Um, so uh, base truck. It's got the six and a half foot bed, uh, truck bed, and that's what I wanted because. Uh, uh, instead of the, like little shorties the five and a half foot five or five and a half foot beds and i definitely didn't want an eight foot because they're just i don't know they're ob obnoxious or so they're so long i don't like that six and a half foot bed uh so what are my plans with it uh well first of all uh 2010 i bought it with 67,000 miles on it 67 and a half i currently have 69,000 miles uh, on it um uh let's see what else um well okay so what I, what I plan to do with it? Well, I've been in this van for eight years now, and I just I was like, you know what? Time to change it up and do something different. So uh, I've been thinking about this for the past year, really, uh, what I'm gonna do. And uh, I like a truck because it's versatile. If I wanna pull a, a small trailer, I can pull a small trailer. Uh, if I wanna do a, a sliding camper, a hard top lightweight sliding, sliding camper, I can do that. Uh, I can do a slide in pop top or wedge wedge camper. Um, I can do. Uh, there's also these like overlanding uh, setups now, which have been around for a few years, uh, where they're mainly for like off roading. Which this is a four by four truck, so I can off road. And that's one of the cool things about it as well. Is my van couldn't really get to every place I wanted to, but with a nice truck four by four, I can go get to those out of the way places away from the crowds. And uh, but. You know, I can go with a simplified, uh, just a kind of a shell setup where I build the interior out. So, I mean, there's just a ton of options, and I haven't 100% decided. I have some ideas, but I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, so, still living out of the van. I've got the truck uh, as kind of my daily driver now. In the van, I move it maybe once a week now. Uh, while I'm, I'm just basically in research mode and planning mode for the uh, for the truck. Okay, so now you, uh, if you like, I said, if you made it this far in my uh, my spring cleaning video, then you got the sneak peek of the truck. Uh, there'll be more videos of that in the future, but I think I'm going to put together two or three videos of what I've been doing for the past summer, uh, for the past year, and um, and then I'll start making like uh, more truck uh, truck search, truck you know, just videos uh, related to the truck. So I know you're probably all super interested. So let's see how that van's looking now after the spring cleaning. Well, after the floors are done, and then there's other things I'm doing after that, but let's see how it's looking. Okay, now that the back part is all cleaned up, I'm going to clean this front area up. These two containers here are, that's like backup food, overflow food from my food pantry. I uh, usually, I mainly use that like when I'm out in the mountains and I need some extra food for like a couple weeks. Dirty clothes bag and then there's some stuff under there. So I'm just gonna organize this and I'm also gonna do the back. Okay, so here's what the back's looking like. You got your gray tank, seven gallon and two six gallon water, water containers, fresh water containers. This is where I store my propane uh, burner and uh, my gas propane, my little one pound propane bottles. Dometic fridge, and then that down there is uh, silverware and uh, stuff like that, knives and whatnot. Yeah, my uh, I've noticed this particular curtain is really worn down. It's almost see-through now. This, this outside white part, uh, the sun has really damaged it over time. Uh, I'm considering definitely replacing this, uh, both sides. Just uh, my my taping instead of sewing job is starting to look like crap. The magnets are uh, wearing off. But uh, yeah, so I'll get yeah, I'll pull these out. I'll clean it out real good in here. 
Well, it's been a long day of cleaning and organizing the van, uh, and now I'm about done. I'm gonna take you inside and let you see what it looks like. Okay, well, like I said, I always enter through this door. So, what do we have now? Well, that is the, I ended up putting my sleeping bag over here. I cleared out some area. It is a big sleeping bag when it's rolled up, so uh, I will not use that probably till October. So that might sit there for the whole time, who knows. Uh, I just put, I always put this stuff up to help keep the uh, the shade up on the window. And these two are usually on my other, my other, my driver and, and passenger side windows. But so the two tubs now, uh, what I've done is I took some of my clothes and put them in one of my winter clothes, like uh, jeans and sweatpants and jackets, and put them in one of these tubs. The other one is a uh, reserve food, uh, reserve food tub. Okay, now looking at the back. Uh, like I said, I took the sleeping bag off, so now I still have my, my uh, it's a three inch foam with a one inch topper on top and bottom, so it can be, it's flippable, reversible. So I got my bed there and I have my two pillows, cake, my two pillows here. And that cover, it's a lightweight co cover. It currently sits on the refrigerator just to uh, help insulate it. And I'll bring that down at night and use that as my cover. Uh, of course we have my porta potty inside here. This is my desk and also a nightstand that I move over here at night and this thing it pulls out and extends into a bigger desk. Uh, that is my current fan working really well. Maybe I'll talk about that one day. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen these in my other videos. My light, touch lights. Um, so back here, the shelving area, eh, it's always been kind of a mess here. But uh, like I said, I pulled a lot of my pulled a lot of my winter clothes out of here, so now there's more room. I mainly do t-shirts and shorts. I try to I try to live at places or travel to places where that's all I need is t-shirts and shorts. So uh, mainly bathroom products up there, you know, uh, deodorant and whatever, toilet paper, food pantry down here, and like I said, the overflow is up front. My refrigerator, and here's my sink with my little water. Uh, coffee pot, coffee heater thing, what do you call those, tea kettle, I don't know, um, a sink, uh, water situation, so that's about it. Okay, well thanks for watching, uh, I couldn't go any longer with just half shaven face, so uh, thanks a lot for watching the video, and uh, I look forward to making more videos for you, I hope you enjoyed it.